what's up guys welcome back to Gordon's channel today we are going to talk about the go to date method of full calendar this video is in response to a comment recently on the full calendar video mm, yeah this this person um, he says that he wants to add a functionality if a user wants to jump on a particular date of a particular month without clicking on the left or right but arrow button um, so uh, we need to use the go to date method of the full calendar so let's get started yeah so uh, basically we have a blank uh, this is a continuous also of our project the uh, to-do list series so this is uh, lesson 24 previously we have built a table with the input session and a table and a full calendar so let's add some um, data here upload lesson 24 to youtube and let's set a day for example let's set it as uh, for example the valentine's thing right so we have the valentine's day upload lesson 24 on the valentine's day uh, so uh, now we want to jump to the particular day before clicking on it for example oh it, we are already in February so let's let me delete it and let me uh, set it as for example March 14th okay upload lesson 24 to uh, YouTube on March 14th this is February March 14th okay let's add it okay so the uh, the lesson is the event it is in march 14th and we are now at february 8th so let's try so uh, we have two implementation the first one is add a click event listeners on the dates in our table and the second one is uh, using an input box so let's try both the first one is we want to add a add event listener so we want to go to our javascript file and find the date element so um, we, we have uh, wrap everything in a to domain function and then um, the date element is rendered it is rendered by the code render rows function uh, we, ha we have a render row yes for every object in our memory in our storage we will render a row so let's go to find the render rows yeah render rows will uh, render the rows based on the page number and render row will add the cell element to the table so this is the date element time element uh, the yeah the input box yeah date element time element the to do item and then the category so uh, we want to add a click function on the date element so let's go to the date element here and uh, you, you can add the event listener before uh, a pen child or after a pen child is okay uh, because we are talking about this element in this renderer function so that let me try for example uh, date element dot add event listeners uh, add a click event listeners and let's call it uh, on day click And it's a good practice to add a force here. So uh, we can um, define the on day click here because the, it will be closer. So let's, for example, I just add it here for simply. Yes. Uh, let's do a little bit debugging here so for example on day click we have the event object here so uh, let's uh, try to uh, console.log the event dot target okay. so let's we, we need to uh, debug every step so let's try yes this is uh, how refresh here so let's go back to the uh, oh this is ie is okay so let's go to um, yeah let's go to inspect it let's just the console 
let me see when we render it have we yeah the click event question yes when we click on the page the click event listener is triggered and it will say that the data type is stage the data id and then there is the content right so we want to extract content so let's add a uh, dot text content dot inner text dot inner text So let's try it again. So let's click on it. Yeah, the inner text is a date function. And this date string is a uh, fit as a format of full calendar because if you go to the full calendar documentary, uh, you need to pass a passable date as a parameter to the go to date method. So if you click on it, the acceptable method is uh, you have the date with a hyphen and then the month in two digits and then a hyphen and the date in two digits. So this is better. So let's go back to the yes. Let's go back here and put this as the argument to our go to date method. So here, what we need to do is we need to pass this to the go calendar. Uh, let me see the full calendar object is called yeah calendar. So just call calendar calendar dot go to date. And it's done. So let's try. Okay, let me switch off the console. And now we are in February 8th. And if we click on the date of March 14th, we will go to the March in the full calendar, supposedly. No, it doesn't go to that. Let me check the console then. Let me check the console. It's back. Yes. Yes, there's an error here. Calendar.go to date is not a function. Okay, we cannot get the go to date function. So let me go back to the. Uh, let me see. Do, 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 do. It's very normal to have this problem. Calendar dot go to date. Okay, so uh, so calendar is the upper. Calendar is a HTML. So we need to actually get the calendar object. So uh, instead of doing this, let me try to console log the calendar. Let me try. For example, if I click on it, it is called is rendering true. Yeah. Let me see current class. Yeah. Hmm. Handle data. Hmm. Yes, this is the. Yes, this is the calendar. Is rendering true? Rendering runner. Current data manager. Fabric. Okay, if there is no such method, there's, maybe there's the first name problem. For example, this is the first and six. And what we are using is an old version of calendar. So what we are using may be, let me see. Uh, we need to go back to the XML. And what we are uh, importing is version five. So let's try the documentary for version five. Do we have this method? Yes, let me try. For example, if you go to version five, yeah, we still have this method, and the method is go to date, not go to date. Yeah, okay, so this is uh, the capital letter D only. The T doesn't have capital letter, only the D capital letter. So maybe it's a spelling mistake. So let me go back to the uh, date element. Yeah, the event listener is here. Yeah, so let me try it again. So uh, instead of go capital T to date, we should use go just T. Uh, let's save it and try it again. Yeah, it's very normal debugging. So let me, uh, yeah, I think I don't need the console. Yeah, let me click on it and see if we can jump to March 14th. Oh, it's done. So it's that simple, okay? So it's really that simple. And if, for example, uh, this is the first implementation, right? We, we say that we want to add two implementation. The first one is by clicking, uh, by adding the click event listeners on the date in our table. Uh, I suppose this is uh, what you want to achieve. And uh, to, do I need to uh, demonstrate the input box one? Mm, maybe, maybe it's more or less the same. So 
yeah so uh, yes yeah, so that's the implementation so to be to to conclude first of all we go to the documentary to check the versioning for example we have version 5 and there's this go to date method and then we can use the calendar.go to date method and pass date as a uh, argument and the dates must be a possible format so this must be uh, in either this full format and because we are uh, we have already implemented that so our dates is already that format so we just need to um, use the console log to check whether we have the data set or we need to use the inner text or whatever and once you get the data you can uh, add the use the method and pass to it and during the implementation there may be some problem for example uh, the spelling the capital or not so it's very normal so uh, no need to panic just uh, just be calm and try to debug it yeah so i think that's it for today uh, thank you bye bye